I'm here in Athens for the Veterans Day Parade, and I was able to catch up with some folks on their thoughts of Joe Biden being the president-elect and Kamala Harris, the vice president-elect. Even in the spirit of patriotism, Christy Teachout and her family were disappointed when they found out the news. My thoughts initially are sadness. Teachout says she'll still respect Biden as president, but is holding him accountable. He owes the American people big time if, if he is going to take that seat. And he needs to use his power for good, not evil. I mean, to me, it is what it is. I mean, I know who I voted for and where I stand on it. So I'm, to me, I'm just still going to wake up and live my life every day like, like I have in the past. James Ridgway notices the divide in the country and is hoping for a better future. Hopefully he will and, and he'll do the things that he said that he would do. And, you know, it, the most of the divide will go away. That's all I can hope and pray for. Meanwhile, for others, today was a celebration for more reasons than one. Morgan Gibson here at Big Spring Park in Huntsville to celebrate a friend's birthday. She was home when she heard the news. I was just in my room and then my mom started screaming and I was, she was like, Joe Biden won! I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I had to just start, we just started praying in the house because we were just thanking God, like, thank you, Jesus. Gibson also has something in common with Vice President-elect Harris. She even met her. I mean, this is just such an amazing historical moment to see the Vice President-elect be a black woman that went to Howard University, walked the same streets in the halls that I did, and now she's walking the halls of the White House. So it's such a beautiful moment, and I'm so ecstatic to see myself in her. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees, WZDX News.